So this is only going to be a short review. It's just kind of, uh, it's it's not it's not Transformers related, so it's just like a little small thing to just throw a video out. But I recently seen the FNAF movie, and I have to say I really did like it. And I decided to buy these figures on Amazon. I know they're old, kind of they're about like a year or two old. But I did get them for a good price anyway. Yeah, these are figures I wanted for a long time. Not like these specifically, but FNAF figures in general. I've never really had any of them. The closest I've had is a Funko Pop Nightmare Freddy and the plushies. And I've never had these figures before. Like not specifically these ones, but the actual like actual FNAF figures before. So I picked these up. I'm gonna buy the rest of the set uh, in the future anyway. And who knows, I might do a review on them as well. To be honest, I actually really did like them. I actually am happy that I bought these figures to put in a little display. I did actually move my desk around. You can see this right here. This is another shelf right here. Instead of it being next to my bed now. It's a shelf here and then there's one above this. I'll probably play it in a video, but uh, yeah, it's just where I... It's just new storage. I'm probably going to get more up the wall, maybe. But yeah, we're gonna get straight into this review. So we're gonna look at Freddy Force. Take his microphone, actually. This is his accessory. You can take it off. And he comes with a little stand, which is kind of hard to get this microphone on right now. Please, that'd be great. Okay, so he does come with this little mic stand, which is a little nice accessory. Okay, so now we have Freddy, which, to be fair, I think the main problem with these figures is the limbs when they just magically fall off. I know you can like swap them around and stuff, but it's kind of weird when they just fly off and they're not like, they're very loose. It's just very annoying. So I'm gonna stand Monty back there real quick, back here, so we can get a closer look at Freddy's detail. So there's Freddy. Uh, he is uh, a very nice orangish color, which is nice to see. We're gonna do a full 360 on the figure he does have nice detailing uh, on this figure especially on the face with the little glam rock paint here and the little lightning ball thingy coming down his chest so we're gonna get to this head sculpt real quick and this head sculpt is decent it's not the best since it's literally just a fun time freddy head recolored but it is what it is we're gonna get to the articulation on freddy Real quick, so he does have a ball joint at the head, you can look up, down, left and right. I'm trying to be a bit careful with these so the limbs don't fall off. He does have rotation at the arm, but it can only go so far because it's shoulder pads, so he can move out. He does have a waist swivel as well, which is nice to see, and he also has a bend at the elbow and a wrist swivel, a very tight wrist swivel, but he has one. He does have movement at the legs. Not very far, but you can move, these things fall off again. There you go. He does have a bend at the knee. And I don't think he has any toe ex oh, he Okay, no. He doesn't have any toe uh, articulation. So, the articulation is actually better than what I expected it to be. I expected just to have the arms move, the legs move, and the head move. I didn't expect the wrist swivel and then waist swivel, which is nice to see on these figures since I've never actually had these before so I'm kind of like just I'm just easing in to the to these new figures since I've never actually had these before so we're gonna put Freddy to the side that figure is good in my opinion I'm gonna stick, stick his microphone right there and we're gonna get to Monty which is my favorite character in Spirit of Beach because it's Monty who, who doesn't like Monty to go so we have Monty here, he does have a little bit of paint smudge on his chest which is a bit annoying but it's like I'm, cover, I'm trying to like cover it up with the guitar so it's not the worst thing in the world. So we're going to have a full 360 rotation with Monty and he does have a bit of weird paint chipping here which is a bit weird but it's fine. You don't really look at the back of him anyway. So we're going to take his guitar real quick. Uh, John, I could just leave it in his hand here. We're just going to take a look at it. Very nice little guitar that you have there. With Monty, you see nice detailing of the uh, chords or the strings, whatever they call it, I can't really remember. Uh, nice few detailing on the the board of the guitar as well. And the little tuning thing at the top. A little nice accessory. So, I think the ex ex 
the articulation is the exact same as Freddy, so you just have a ball joint head. You can look up, down, left, and right. Uh, you can move his arms. A full 360 rotation, unlike Freddy, because Freddy's shoulder pads are actually connected to his body, and Monty's is connected to his arm. Monty can put his arm all the way out, and he has a bend at the elbow, and he does also have a wrist swivel. He does also have a waist swivel which is nice to see. He does have rotation at the leg, but his rotation at the leg is kind of pinged because of his tail, and he does have a bend at the knee as well. Which, I have to say, I think Monty's, Monty's articulation is slightly better due to the shoulder pads um, being able to be connected to his arm and not his, his actual like shoulder piece connected to the body which gives him more freely articulation it gives him more freedom uh, which I like about that so I'm gonna put Monty like this like that. so what is my overall thoughts on these figures um, I think they're great I think they're good for their price we're just gonna get to the, the scores I'm gonna give Freddy an, an A and I'm going to give Monty a 9 due to the shoulder pad being on his arm and he has more freedom with his arm rotation. I have to say, these are not bad figures. I think if you have the choice to pick them up, I'd say you should pick them up. Uh, it was kind of a weird review. I know FNAF. It, it's the first FNAF themed video on my channel. But the movie came out and my dogs barked downstairs. But uh, yeah, that's the review done. And there should be another video out in a few days because... Yeah. Uh, that's the review done.